Why am I always out of tune? Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. So I've done a lot of video reviews on guitars and probably the most common comment that I get is about the guitar being out of tune. Here's just an example. It would be better if you tuned it. My ears are bleeding. Good tone plays completely out of tune. Horrible distorted tone and I'd get the tuner checked out if I were you, obviously not very accurate. Out of tune. Please tune the guitar. Guitar is out of tune, ick. Ah, tune that thing. So obviously I have a tuning problem. Some of it is due to the fact that I do some of these guitar reviews straight out of the box. I pull it out of the box, tune it up real quick, and start doing audio examples. The problem is they have fresh strings on them, so obviously the strings are gonna stretch, and usually the intonation is off on a brand new guitar straight out of the box. So when I play these guitars, they go out of tune really fast. But usually I will mention in the video, it's kind of out of tune, or I will mention, hey, the intonation is probably off. So I'm trying to balance things between, you know, showing what this guitar would, you know, look like and sound like straight out of the box so that if you purchase one of these things, you'll know what to expect trying to balance that with also you know making making sure the guitar sounds good you know i don't want you know i i don't want to play a guitar that actually sounds good badly so that people would think that it's not worth you know worth getting uh, so it's kind of a, a tricky a tricky balance and then another thing that i've also mentioned with uh, guitars that have tall frets on them is that you know your your string is going across th these two frets and as you press down on it you're actually stretching uh, that string out and so if you happen to if, you know with tall frets if you happen to press really really hard down on the string it can it can pull it out of tune and I've and I noticed that with a lot of Les Paul style guitars like the LTD I had a couple LTD guitars and the frets on those things were just giant sized and so when I would play because I'm an acoustic player normally and I use you know heavy strings I think I have 12s on my acoustic guitars and so I'm used to just really jamming down on those chords and so when I play the guitars with the really super tall frets, it has a tendency to go out of tune. So I think those things combined is what, you know, sort of makes these videos of, of the guitar reviews sound so completely out of tune. But then I also struggle sometimes with getting a guitar to be in tune. And so it got me thinking about uh, our tuners that we use, the little... Clip-on tuners is what a lot of people use. Uh, there's usually tuners in uh, amp modeling programs. There's usually tuners on amps. There's usually, I mean, there's tuners everywhere. I even used uh, the floor, you know, the pedal tuner uh, when I play out. And sometimes the pedal tuner and the little clip-on tuner and some of the other tuners don't always agree with each other. So the question is, how do you tune to get make sure that you're in tune. Uh, so I'm gonna cover just a couple things uh, that I think, uh, that I've kind of found interesting. And I'm gonna play, I'm gonna tune up a guitar and kind of play it a little bit. And I want you as the viewer to go to the comments and tell me if you think that the guitar is in tune. Because sometimes when I'm playing, I think I'm in tune and I don't, and I'm actually not in tune, and then sometimes I don't think I'm in tune, but then all the electronics say that I am in tune. So it'll be interesting to see what your comments are about tuning. I know there are special tuning techniques that some people will use. Some people will uh, make the B string just slightly flat. And I know that uh, singer-songwriter James Taylor, uh, who plays primarily acoustic, uh, fingerstyle acoustic, he has a sort of method for tuning, and he uses, uh, you know, he tunes things quite flat. 
And I think that is because he probably presses down pretty hard too. Because what you're doing when you're stretching that string by pressing down real hard on the frets is you're, you're stretching that string out and causing it to go sharp. So I'll post a quick diagram of James Taylor's. It's called, he calls it sweetened tuning. Now I've never tried that tuning. Uh, seems to make sense, but again, he plays primarily acoustic guitar. So anyway, I just found that interesting. Thought you might find that interesting as well. There's a ton of videos on YouTube that explain tuning and how we hear the guitar and how like the G string always sounds like it's out of tune. Um, so I won't go into that stuff, but I just wanted to cover a couple things of how we as guitar players can quickly verify uh, tuning and you can use just freely available software. So let's get started. Okay, so here, uh, here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I verify um, that the clip-on tuners are accurate. And then I'll show you uh, some software that I, that I use, an amp modeling software, and uh, use that to tune the guitar. And you'll see a little bit of difference in tuning between the clip-on and that tuner. And uh, then we'll just play some tones and kind of get an idea of what, what things sound like to our ears. So uh, you might be familiar with this free software called Audacity. And what you can do in Audacity is you can create a track and then you can come up here to this generate and you can generate a tone. So it's pretty cool. So you can generate a tone, you can set the duration of the tone in seconds, and you can set the frequency. And amplitude is just the volume of it, so it's, it's between one and zero. <clears throat> and obviously you can adjust the volume, you know, in your, in your software with your audio interface and everything. So if you go to the interwebs and you look for the, the standard tuning for a six string guitar in frequency, you get the, you know, the actual frequency in hertz for a guitar. And so what you want to do is, in Audacity, you just want to set the frequency uh, of, you know, so the low E is 82.41 hertz. And then you just come back to Audacity and you type in, you paste that in, 82.41. Uh, I got this set for five seconds, that's probably enough. Hit generate, and it generates a tone. And so this is the low E, and if you play it back, you hear a tone. So then what I did is I created a track for each of the, of the strings, low E, A, D, G, B, E. And I used these uh, frequencies here. And so, uh, and that's in the 440 hertz uh, standard tuning uh, for, you know, Western music. Okay, so then what I do is I'll take my clip-on tuner, turn it on, set it on top of the one of my studio monitors, and then uh, you play the tone. So here we are with the low E. We're going to play that. And you can see on the display that it is picking up the correct tone. And it's measuring accurately. So we know that the tuner is correct. And this is a Dunlop clip-on tuner. And then we can do the same thing with the snark. Snarks are probably the most popular clip-on tuner. And we can do the same thing. So this would be the D. And you can see that it's, it's accurate. We'll go to B. Okay. So the, you know, the tuners are are accurate so you know then we plug our guitar in and everything and what I 
like to do is if you're going to use a floor tuner, you know, the pedal, pedal style tuner, or use the tuner from your DAW or your amp or whatever, is to cross-reference the what you get on the on the tuner on the amp or in your DAW with the snark. This particular uh, amp modeling program is Tone Live GFX and it's got a built-in tuner. And so you can As you can see on the tuner on the screen, you get a little different. And when I tune, I like to tune to the sustained note. So I'll, I'll pluck the note and then set the tuning key until that sustained note is in tune. So that's pretty good. So now if you notice on the on the amp modeling program, it is showing it as being a little sharp. And then another thing you want to take into consideration is the, the tuning keys. These are the old vintage style tuning keys on this Ariga guitar that I reviewed uh, before. You also want to you can put a little bit of graphite from a pencil in the nut slots because that helps the string slide through uh, the nut slot really easily so that it doesn't bind up because that can affect uh, your tuning also. So you want to make sure that the strings are, are moving through freely. Okay, so basically I just tune up. And then I always check the intonation on a, a new guitar. So this seems to be pretty good. <clears throat> and then if you play a note, a chord, the snark will even, you know, the tuner will even recognize a chord. So for all intents and purposes, <laughs> this guitar is in tune. So then... Sounds in tune to me. And of course, when you bend, then you you might go out of tune if your strings are fairly fresh. But this guitar is holding tune pretty well. So anyway, I just... And it's usually open chords. Open chords will reveal intonation problems right away because... See, now to me that sounds a little, a little off. That's a D. See, that E sounds off but it's on according to all the <laughs> the electronics but to me to me that d to me that d doesn't sound right but this you know the tuner says it's right all the strings are in tune so i'm curious to see what you think that's an a now to 
me that sounds pretty good. That's a G, open G. See, to me that sounds like it's a little off. The G sounds like it might be out of tune. Tuner says it's in tune. Open E. So that sounds pretty good, but I don't know, that D for some reason. And I don't have any guitars right now with the really super tall frets, but you can, you can hear it when you... See? All I'm doing is pressing hard and you know sort of pushing down and on that string so you can hear it a little bit and it's not as bad on this one because this the frets on this are, are pretty low and the in you know the in the action set pretty good on this but when the action is pretty high on a on a guitar especially if the nut slots are too high if the nut slots are too high and then you have really super tall frets then you can jam on that chord and pull it out of tune. And intonation problems seem to be less noticeable with bar chords, whereas an open, open chord, you know, the string itself could be in tune, and then when you fret some notes, those aren't in, those aren't in tune because the intonation is off, and so open chords will reveal tuning issues, in, intonation issues quicker than the bar chord. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to talk about tuning because I just get, I just get criticized so bad in the comments about tuning and I just wanted, one, to reassure everybody and myself that I actually do know how to tune a guitar. Um, and to also explain, you know, why there are some tuning issues, especially in the videos about brand new guitars straight out of the box. And then I also wanted to just kind of, you know, I sort of did this experiment this morning and found, the, you know, that way to create those tones so that you have these tones and you can verify that you know, your tuner is in tune and you could even tune your guitar to these tones. So there's a D. So you can listen, listen to the tone. So that way you can also, you know, tune your guitar, make sure it's in tune according to all the digital gadgets, and then listen to a tone and play it and see if it matches, you know, what your ear hears. So yeah, I just wanted to do that quick video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, uh, if you've got any tricks that you use uh, to keep your guitar in tune, if there's any frustrations you have about keeping uh, your guitar in tune. Do you use the digital clip-on tuners? Do you use the uh, the pedal tuner? I remember back in the day when uh, this is in the 80s when I first started playing guitar. We had the little the little pitch pipe they called it. It was a little a little whistle like almost. It had it had all the tones on it for each string, and you blew into it, and it made uh, that tone, and then you tuned to that. And uh, it was, I don't know, it wasn't extremely accurate, but um, that's how we, that's how I tuned. And then we would tune the guitar to itself, of course, as long as you knew what your low E was, then you could tune the guitar uh, to itself. And that's another thing altogether, because I've tuned guitars to themselves and then, then they're not in tune. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you tune your guitar to itself? Do you use an external tone generator to create a tone? Do you just tune up to your, your buddies and your band? Um, do you use the clip-on tuners? Let me know in the comments. Uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Huh?
and watching. <laughs> so we'll see you next time here on Jay Allen Guitar. Thanks.